Hello, I'm Sean Kent Hayashi with Saucon Valley Cute and Cuddly Toy Schnauzers, and this little boy is a toy schnauzer. <laughs> Today, we will be doing training sessions with the puppies, and we'll also have an adventure to share with you. Come along for the journey. Here's Devin and Birdie, and they're going to start first. We've set up a little routine that Birdie and Devin will be doing together. So Devin is going to start Birdie on the training bed that we normally work with her on. And then we set up a little course, if you will, and you'll get to see Birdie and then perhaps Toffee and some of our others move through the little course that we have prepared for you today. And at this age, at 11 weeks, we are really tailoring our work to the specific um, style, aptitude, temperament of the puppy that we're working with. So Devin, you want to go ahead and get yeah. started with Birdie. And I have Toffee here in my hands so that he can watch his sister, who is slightly more advanced than he is, as she is yes. doing her work so happily. Look at her tail yes. wagging. Ready. Touch. Yes, touch. Yes, touch. Yes, touch, Birdie. So again, part of the reason why we start on the training bed is this is where they are extremely confident. This is where the uh, sense of confidence, very high. So look at her luring right into yes. her, her come and her finish. Let's go. Wobble birdie. Yes, wobble. Yes, crate. Yes, crate birdie. Yes, crate. Notice what a great job that Devin is doing in luring birdie. Yes, and birdie, birdie just told Devin yes, what she wobble. wanted to do next, which is fine. We let dogs do that sometimes. It's part of their fun. Yes. So this is yes box. And now yes, while she's box. on the box, we could ask Birdie to yes, sit box. or we could ask her to do a down. Yes, sit, Birdie. Yes, sit. Yes, down. Yes, down. Touch. Yes, touch. Places. Yes, places, Birdie. Yes, sit. Yes, sit. So again, you're seeing an 11-week-old schnauzer puppy who is very excitedly learning and her ability to continue to learn, her ability to be excited about learning is a big part of what we have been building in for her so that when she goes to her new family at 16 weeks old, she'll be ready to learn all about them too and their family and culture. Yes, baby side. Yes, birdie. Yes, upstairs. Yes, Birdie. Yes, upstairs. Yes, Birdie. So Toffee has been very attentively watching all of this. Birdie is Birdie. doing a fantastic job. Well, both Birdie and Devin are doing a fantastic job. Yes, downstairs. Yes, Birdie. So now we'll yes, take her back downstairs. over to one of the places beds yes. and we will Birdie. have a little celebration at her Birdie. great work. She says, yes, oh, I'm going to do slide. the baby slide on the way yes, there. Baby slide. Places. Yes, places. Yes, places. Spin. Yes, spin. Yes, spin, birdie. Okay. Okay. Good job, birdie. Thank you, Robs. Yes, well baby. done, birdie. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. We realized that we had forgotten yes, to put roll, roll the ball in the Birdie. the lineup yes. of activities. So yes, here it is. We've come back with Birdie to say, yes. let's give her the opportunity to yes. practice roll the ball as well. 
Yes, roll the ball, Bertie. Most puppies, once they learn roll the ball, they yes. really love it. And yes, she's no exception. So Devin and Toffee are now ready to begin. And I want to point out to you, again, this is where we really customize our training. So I'll point out the things that Devin is doing along the way. So you can go ahead and start with him. And we start off of the places bed and we lure or we ask places. Yes, yes places. Yes, places, Toffee. Yes, Ben. So we're still doing lure work with these dogs, even at 11 weeks old, because yes. when they learn to lure so yes. well and they get confident in the ability to lure, you can teach them anything. Touch. His yes. approach, his temperament, his style is different from Birdie's, yes. but his excitement, his enthusiasm, yes. and his confidence are as high as yes. Birdie's. Yes, down. Yes, down. Coffee. So if you've been watching along with us, you know that he's been struggling a little bit with the idea yes. of coming off the places bed, but there yes. we go. He's, yes. It's now starting to click after a couple of sessions of doing this with him. So touching his collar yes. and making it comfortable. Yes. Toffee. That's something I want you doing with your puppies multiple times a day. Touching their collars and rewarding them. Let's go. Toffee. They only have their collars on when we're doing our routines. Toffee. Yes. At yes. your home, you might keep a collar yes, on a dog toffee. all the time. Yes. If you have one dog, yes. but if you have little puppies like this that are interacting with each other, I would recommend that you don't keep a collar yes. on the dog all the yes, time. Toffee. Yes, wobble. Yes, wobble. And now what we'll do is we'll do wobble five times yes, in a wobble. row with him until yes, we can see that he has it and he has the confidence to do it. Yes, wobble, Toffee. Yes, wobble. So when we're first yes, teaching wobble. something new, we do it multiple times in a row. Just like when you were beginning to teach sit. Yes, yes, wobble. Yes, wobble, Toffee. Toffee. Yes, yes, wobble. Yes, wobble. Toffee. So we're noticing that he's losing a little bit of interest in, in the lure, but she's gotten yes. his attention back now. Yes, Toffee. Yes, Crate. Yes, Crate. Toffee. Touch. Yes, Touch. In the Crate. Yes. Yes, Crate. Yes, Crate. Toffee. Touch. Yes, Touch. And notice we're Great. still not at the point where yes, we're saying Great. the word ahead of time. Yes, Great. So we're saying it after Toffee. he's in the act or after he's doing the behavior yes. that we want done. Then yes. we're saying the word. He's yes. still learning. These puppies yes. are still Great. learning the yes. words. Great. So it's about hand movements and it's about luring. That's yes. what you will need to be practicing and mastering yes. with a puppy at this stage in their learning. Okay, so now we could bring him over to the first little lower riser step. Now what we might do with him, Devin, yes. is bring him over to this place's bed and let him have the experience of, of being on a different place's bed and having a sense of being successful with that. Let's go. Yes, places, 
toffee. Yes, places. And so we'll do the routine that we normally do on the places bed so that he has a yes. sense of feeling really good yes. about his yeah. work. I want to get his tail wagging. And sometimes to get their tail wagging, yes. our tone of voice. We were working uh, in the video that you saw yesterday with Koi on getting her tone of voice to vary. Yes. Because it's often in our voices that we can get their little tails wagging because they get excited. Puppies love to be talked to as if they're a little baby. So, yes, yeah, such a good job. Great touch. work. All right, we can do yes, an touch. okay and a belly rub. Okay. Okay, Toffee. Belly yes, rubs. Touch. Belly yes, rubs for Toffee. Good job. It's that time of the week for toenail trims. So once a week, everybody here gets a toenail trim. And you can see Devin is doing some of the obedience routine with toffee here on the grooming table which is a great thing to do so in the area yes. where you groom your dogs get them doing some of the basics that they like to do and set it up so that it's very comfortable for them before you begin the toenail trim yes. work nicely done <laughs> what a cutie this is a familiar scene Here's Toffee sitting in my lap as we are driving into downtown Philadelphia for an adventure today. And here's my husband driving the car and we are on a road right near our home. I'll share with you when we get into Philadelphia. Here we are in Rittenhouse Square in Philadelphia and it is a very spring-like day here, so much so that the daffodils are even blooming. This little puppy gets to see his first daffodils blooming. What a cutie. And look at Rittenhouse Square. It's wonderful to be able to bring him so that he can see all the different sights in a city environment. Great way to do puppy socializing. But you'll notice at no point do I put this little guy down on the ground but he gets to see it all. It's fun to be in the park. And this is the reason that I came into Philadelphia today. This is my son, William. And here we are in Rittenhouse Square, enjoying getting ready to go to brunch. And we'll have some puppy playtime along the way too. You're so relaxed, aren't you? There's lots of people walking by and things going on, but you're just totally relaxed. We have been exploring and visiting our friends and just doing all sorts of fun things in Philadelphia today. And this little boy has not made a peep. He has been so easygoing. He's gone right on the potty pad. So I took the potty pad into the bathroom at my friend's house and put it on the floor. And right away, he did his little business right on the potty pads. And he's getting all sorts of city experience today. So fun, Toffee. Such a good boy you are. Yes. Such a fun place to be, William. Look 
who's in my lap. Just enjoying. <laughs>